right, what's up everyone? Jossie here and welcome to our home office slash our second bedroom. So this Brooklyn apartment is the first apartment that we've stayed in in probably like three years for longer than one year. And also it's our first two bedroom apartment. And I'm just extremely grateful for this space because I could just think about making these type of videos on YouTube where we'd be sharing the living room space or even part of the dining room space with my desk set up and it's such a blessing to be able to have a dedicated space or I guess you could say semi-dedicated space because we have the couch right here and my desk set up in the same room but nonetheless a separate space from our main living area all right so the final phase of design for this home office was this wall so i don't know if you all remember from previous videos because i honestly don't do too many shots from my right hand side because there just isn't a ton of space to set up my camera there used to be a sneaker stand right here or it's really just a shelf i forget the name of the shelf but i'll make sure i link it down in the description box it's basically a storage shelf for all of my sneakers and i honestly just went back and forth with what to do with this space initially we thought about adding a vidso shelf here but the issue with that is one this wall is pretty narrow we didn't think it was worth the amount of money in order to buy the vidso shelf get it installed and on top of that we don't own this apartment so it just didn't make sense to put such a heavy investment in such a small space then i thought about maybe adding one of those samsung frame tv my wife and i thought it would be a really nice aesthetic and just like functional not piece but technology to add since the couch is right here so guests can easily watch tv and if you've ever seen frame tvs they look just like our installations but nonetheless i ended up stumbling upon the husky workbench so as you can see the husky workbench is what we decided to go with this husky workbench is 46 inches wide which is perfect for the amount of space we had for this wall so whenever i open the husky workbench I get more impressed with how deep the drawers are. And the only caveat to that is that we don't necessarily have as much space as we would like when entering into the home office, but that's not the biggest deal in the world. We much prefer having storage and a better organizational system for the home office. Because as you can imagine, as a tech creator, I get a ton of tech items that I either get sent to me or that I purchase myself. And I just started noticing that we were running out of closet space and needed to come up with some sort of solution so we didn't have to worry about getting rid of stuff that we could end up needing for future videos so i've been eyeing the nestle table lamp for months and it just looks so good i normally would go for a more subtle and neutral color for lighting but something about this style and color is perfect and i think it could work for any space because of its timeless design now this is a dupe one day i'll buy more original designs but don't really see the point right now so the nestle table lamp is a classic table lamp that combines the curves of 1960s design with the minimalist sensibilities of timeless modernism and was designed by Italian designer Giancarlo Mattioli in 1967. And you can check it out whenever you're in New York City. It is a permanent collection in the MoMA. So this Ikea desk shelf, it's called the Vatten Car. This is a really simplistic laptop stand and we use it for our Pixel tablet. We really enjoy using the Pixel tablet as a hub for the Husky. So the Pixel tablet was a gift from Google. Thank you to my friends at Google for gifting us this wonderful tablet that I use way more than the iPad, which is quite shocking, but I think the main reason is because of the docking system. So we primarily use the Pixel tablet for recipes, listening to music on Spotify, and for Google reminders and timers. So these 20 watt RGB Viltrox tube lights are not really used casually. These are really for you guys for when I'm creating content and shooting videos and wanting to add more dimensions or colors, basically change up the aesthetic of the video. And also they could be used for unboxing videos or car content.
there haven't been any significant changes to my desk setup and I'm proud of that because I've figured out what my style is and my style is the dual monitor setup, at least for now, <laughs> with a desk shelf. Like I feel like I can't live without the desk shelf. There's something about having a setting for my displays and a setting for my desktop that just makes such a difference like a coaster to a mug. All right, that was probably lame. And then having the speakers on the side, I'm still not in love with these speakers. So I do plan on swapping these out. There's one change that could be happening soon and it's with my chair, but you all are gonna have to stay tuned. So be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell if you haven't already so you can stay up to date and be notified right away when I post a new video. I know I keep saying that there aren't gonna be a ton of changes, but now that I look at my desk setup, there's one other thing that I do wanna change that I almost forgot to tell you all about. And I wanna swap out the LG Dual Up Monitor for another Mac Studio display. Mac Studio display is just too good. The colors are too vivid, it's punchy, contrasty, the blacks are deep, 5K resolution. There's something about the actual like glossy display. The contrast between the two is just way too different. So I really only use a dual up display for aesthetic purposes. So I'm just gonna have to break the bank for a dual studio display setup, which I think is worth it. And the changes I have made have been small and they have made a difference from an aesthetic perspective and user experience perspective, but nothing too significant. And the first thing that did change is swapping out my leather desk mat with this more hybrid texture pattern desk mat from my friends over at Mo Design. This desk mat is, you could say, less premium than the leather desk mat I was using previously from Ergen Office. Definitely recommend that desk mat. I bought the BenQ Halo light bar with the wireless controller to see if it was worth the hype. After using it the past month or so, I think it's worth it. BenQ prioritizes eye comfort, so the light bar is easy on the eyes, has a subtle brightness to it that feels natural. I actually really love using the wireless controller. It helps me find the perfect setting for the specific lighting situation I'm in. It also feels very immersive and isn't distracting. The only issue I have is forgetting to slide it over when on a video call, since it does cover my studio display webcam. The last new addition to the desk setup is the Keychron Q2 Max wireless mechanical keyboard. You could always expect Keychron to deliver high quality keyboards that look and feel sophisticated without breaking the bank. I know it seems simple, but what made me gravitate to this keyboard was the turquoise escape and enter keycaps. The carbon black color combined with the double gasket design for a premium typing experience has made this my favorite keyboard to use as of recently. All right, it's been a minute since I did a, a fit check for the day or just talking about some recent purchases I've made. But uh, on wrist, we got the Apple Watch Ultra Series 2. Sunday's crochet beanie. Definitely love the Sunday's crochet beanies. They just elevate every outfit I wear, even if I'm going for a more like athletic or casual outfit. For outerwear, we've got this almost kind of windbreaker. It's a little bit heavier than a windbreaker, but it's by Goldwyn. Love this jacket. It's got two-tone with like this mixture of burgundy and black. And then the bottoms, I wear these like three times a week. These are zip trousers from Acne Studios. I absolutely love this trouser. And then on feet, had to take them off and show you, these are the Coil Narrow Loafers. These are the only pair of loafers I've been wearing since the summer. They have this like glossy finish, chunky bottom, penny loafer, perfect for spring, summer. Once again, another little subtle piece that makes my pretty casual, almost athletic kind of outfit and turns it into something a bit more contemporary. I could tell that spring is here. Even though the trees are dead and today was a bit chilly, I could tell I could feel the energy in New York. 
And what I love about today and I love about going to Soho, when there's not too many tourists, Soho can be the most charming, like relaxing neighborhood. Every time I come to Soho, NoHo Tribeca area, I'm always in awe of the buildings, like the historical architecture and how it keeps its charm. And there's just not a ton of those really tall glass buildings that just have no character, no soul to them. And then of course you see things like this in New York and you're just like, if you own something like this in New York, like you're, you beyond made it. Like a Porsche in the middle of the city. They, I didn't think they had it because it wasn't in the casing, but they ended up having the wallet, which was clutch, and it's big enough for AirTag, which I mentioned was my main requirement for a new wallet. Mm -hmm. 